Hey everyone, so today is the second day of the brilliant event and I'm out here for the meetup. Um, I'm actually really glad that a few people showed up. Um, a couple of them don't want to be seen in the video, but here's at least three of them. So give them a shout out, say thanks in the comment section down below as well. And now we're gonna go hit some inns and fortresses and do some great battles. See ya. I don't even have time to heal her. Okay, last hit. Ah! Six, five, no! Four missed seconds. Come on, guys. Oh! He's oh, we did it! Oh, my gosh! Yeah, okay, let's, let's do a green screen. How much time do we have? Oh, no, that was too late. Too late, too late. Oh, but he's also on the chest. Oh, that was way too close, man. Way too close. I got the triple friend bonus as well. That's great. Nice. One of the closest battles I've had with all five in the chamber. Great battle. I just want to say thanks to everyone who came out today for the meetup. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> okay, so the brilliant event lasts for one week. For those of you who don't know, uh, there's still time to catch up. Uh, you still have about four days left in the brilliant event, so don't worry if you haven't started yet. You can still finish it in time. Uh, basically, the brilliant event is as such. You have about four pages worth of tasks to complete. And by completing these tasks, you are rewarded with various items. The tasks are pretty simple, uh, but they are a little bit time consuming. So I feel like a week is just enough time to complete this. So some of the rewards will be family XP for your brilliant registry page. You will also get the green restricted books. And of course you get some XP as well. So the green restricted books are probably the most important one because that's the one that's going to allow you to level up your skill tree as you go further down your skill tree for your respective profession. So this event, the brilliant event, uh, which gives lots of green restricted books is really, really essential, especially for professors because professors require the most number of restricted books. And every time you rank up your brilliant registry page, you're given a reward of five scrolls and the level one runestone uh, with the fantastic flora and fauna category. So the foundables that you can find in your registry for the brilliant event, uh, there are six of them. Two of them can be found in the wild, so that shouldn't be a problem. And for the rest of them, they are a little tough to find and here's how you can do it. So the tree trunk and the salamander, those two can only be found by completing the tasks. So by completing the pages uh, for your tasks for the brilliant event, that's how you get the sticker for that foundable and once you place that image, that's when you will be able to claim it. As for the acromantula or the spider, that's how you get it through the rune stones. So by spending your rune stones in wizarding challenges, aka fortress battles, that's how you can get uh, fragments for the Acromantula spider. So uh, you're not guaranteed to get it, um, so you have to do probably a few battles in order for you to get uh, three fragments that are required for the spider. And as for the last one, that one is only available through the brilliant 7km port keys. So the special port keys are available during this event which have a distance of 7 kilometers. So you need to walk a lot and uh, yeah, basically unlock these port keys in order for you to get that last fragment as well. Personally, I thought the event was pretty successful. I had lots of fun playing it and I was with a couple of other people as well playing this event and um, it was generally positive reaction, a positive response to this event, so definitely much better than last week's uh, SOS Task Force emergency uh, event that happened. So this event definitely uh, a much more bigger improvement than last week's one. However, there are a couple of things that I would like to improve in 
future brilliant events. Um, first of all, the number of restricted books. I feel like the rewards that we get for that is way too low. To only get 15 green restricted books uh, is, is pretty dismal, and I hope that we get more in future events, especially because professors require so many green restricted books that uh, 15 is, is way too little. I understand that this is Niantic's way of uh, prolonging the game and making us play uh, for as many many months as possible but still I think a greater incentive will be to get those green restricted books in a much larger quantity. With regards to the tasks on the four different pages um, I felt like the tasks were okay. Uh, could have been a little bit difficult. Uh, maybe focus on more towards getting those tasks to be more difficult rather than just time consuming because some of those can really really take a long time especially if you're a free to play player you don't want to spend any silver keys you just want to use your golden key to unlock port keys um, you know uh, brewing potions as well you have to brew quite a few potions towards the end so those are some of the things that are really time consuming but I hope that maybe we can get something a little bit more difficult rather than more time consuming for future events. So that was pretty much it for the brilliant event, Fantastic Flora and Fauna. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Let me know in the comments section how the experience was for you guys, especially rural players because I understand probably rural players might have had this uh, a little bit difficult because the spawns may not have been as frequent, uh, might have been a little bit difficult to get ingredients to brew potions in the first place. Uh, and so on and so forth. So let me know how was your experience, especially rural players. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.